Good morning. In this video, I will guide you how our resource planning work on Transact. So resource planning module is mainly used for your procurement planning or for your sales planning. So it mainly describes your data that what exactly material is available with you and how many you need to order for any production process or for the sales. So there are five type of resource planning in our Transact. The very first is basic material planning. So in basic material planning, it, it does the planning according to your product category. So you can select a particular product category and then after you can generate the report. You can select ignore item quantities blocked for production process. So it will not display those items which are blocked for any production process. You can select the MSL option as well for the minimum stock level option. Once I will generate this report, it will show me that for exactly finished good production, what are the requirements, how much is in the stock, at what rate it is available, and also how much is blocked to be, how much you need to order, and the total price. So this describes you a data according to the product category. Coming to the next resource planning, which is order confirmation. Order confirmation resource planning is mainly used in case, suppose you have received an order and then after you wish to procure a material for the production. So in this scenario, order confirmation will be used. So there are two steps. Either you can go ahead and create a production and then after see the resource planning or you can directly run the resource planning from order confirmation. There are few fields here, like you can select order confirmation, document number from this drop down. You can select the store as well. and going below the creation date and delivery date as well. Trading option is in such a way when you are not producing the material. You are simply purchasing the material and selling the material. In this scenario, it will show you that exactly according to OC, how much item you do have and how much item is required, in what term you are shorting out, what are the block quantity and also what are exactly the material which have been already a PU has been raised for that particular material. So these are all the things in our resource planning of process detail. Same goes with process uh, detail. Uh, sorry, apologies. That was the order confirmation. In process detail, it describes you exactly for, for a production process, exactly how much raw material is required, how much you do have in stock, how much is blocked, and how much you need to procure. In each and every report, you can select the columns from your left hand side, very top corner, according to your requirement. Please check. So here is the item ID, item name, unit of measurement, rate, required quantity, how much is required in that production process, then after block quantity, how much is blocked for any another production process. Total order, which have been already, a PO have been raised for that. Then after total inward, whose QIR is pending, good receipt note or quality inspection report is pending. Also, pending approval quantity. That means the goods have been received in inventory, but it have not been approved in your inventory module. Coming to the next, to be ordered, exactly how much is required and how much you need to order and what was the, what is the total price. So I hope it will help you out around our resource planning module. Have a good day ahead.